Americans are used to thinking about themselves. It's not we're number one, but we are consumed with our own problems. Suddenly the Eurozone crisis reminds everybody in an era of globalization that you don't join. You know, you are, you are in it whether you want to be or not. And after suffering through, you know, a serious uh, economic collapse uh, in the banking system, the bailouts, all of these problems, the U.S. has a, you know, a distinct, you know, the housing bubble. The U.S. public has an acute awareness of what Europe is facing and how it can affect them. You know, when you're trying to get your unemployment numbers down, when you're trying to get your GDP up, uh, you rely on all of your partners. Germany is seen as the most stable partner that the United States has in Europe today. They may be at odds over austerity, you know, versus stimulus. But I think, once again, Americans envy the Germans a bit. When, when Americans look at their own debt crisis, they do so with some trepidation. They know someday someone is going to have to pay the bill. They know that they have in, in, uh, empowered the politicians to kick the can down the road. Yes, the politicians have done it, and it's easy to point a, a finger at them, but they've been, been empowered by the voters who can't seem to say no when someone says, I won't raise your taxes, who can't seem to, no, to say no when someone says, well, you know, you will be entitled. You will get these social benefits. And they look uh, across to Europe right now and they see uh, Germany as someone who has managed their uh, fiscal policy very, very well.